As with all the other symptoms experienced during menopause hair loss is just one more. Thinning hair is, of course, due to decreased levels of estrogen and increased levels of testosterone in your body. Be reassured you can still strive to age gracefully and look your best. When estrogen decreases to a level below the amount of testosterone in your body you may start to notice the beginnings of hair loss. You may notice more hair in your brush when you are done brushing your hair or more hair in the drain after your shower or just notice that you are shedding more hair than normal. Several other factors can come into play when it comes to losing your hair like genetics, nutrition, thyroid problems, specifically hypothyroid, stress, and chemotherapy treatments. If you have none of these conditions and are still losing your hair, talk to your doctor about your hormones. They are probably the culprit. When you do talk to your doctor, ask about supplements that will help with hair growth. He or she may prescribe the active ingredient in Rogaine, called minoxidil, to start to regrow some of your hair. It's not just for men, ya you know. Natural supplements can also help improve the state of your head. The four most effective are, biotin, flaxseed oil, evening primrose oil, and zinc. Biotin helps strengthen hair and nails, is essential for metabolizing fats and amino acids and can help regulate blood sugar levels. When blood sugar levels are not within normal limits the body produces an excessive amount of the male hormone dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. DHT is the major factor in the destruction of hair follicles. Flaxseed oil keeps hair and nails healthy and decreases the amount of oil secreted by the body and aids in healing. Evening primrose oil is rich in omega-3, conditions your scalp and reduces the production and appearance of dandruff. Zinc assists with thyroid function and reduces hair loss due to hypothyroidism. Taken with copper to maintain a proper mineral balance, zinc can affect the hormones responsible for genetic hair loss, called alopecia. Always follow the recommended dosage on the supplement package or whatever dosage your doctor oaks for you. During perimenopause and menopause it may seem as if your body has turned against you and is staging a mutiny. But in reality this is a time for you to embrace the new you and learn to enjoy the newest phase of your life. The phrase, you're not getting older, you're getting better is so, so true. The symptoms of menopause will eventually decrease in severity and allow you to live your life to the fullest without having to worry about when your next period is going to start and if you have enough feminine supplies to get you through. If you happen to be one of the 30% of women who are affected by menopause hair loss, remember there are treatment options available to help you so you too can live a healthy, happy mid to late life. These are truly the best years of your life.